Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. Gun out. Two guns out. The Rickies came with the guns out. We'll get our audio, audibles. Somebody ran the wrong way on the road and the cops followed me and came upon me. What it looked like. It's like a black Durango. Devries has his body in the car. Where is he? There he is. Uh, we're looking through the car. I got a freedom of speech first name. We're gonna let you exercise your freedom of speech in my car. We're here at Wendy's on 35 and uh, between 6th and 7th Street in the Entertainment District, and they've got. Uh, 
five, six, seven, I don't know, black men, young black men detained for some weed, guns were out, uh, a couple of these rookies ID'd, uh, had their guns out, several officers had their guns out, and then we have, uh, I think this guy looks like the head of Vice, um, Ernie Reyes, or, no, one of those guys, who, look at my video from the commander's forum, this looks like a head of Vice here, with a tattoo on his left arm, and uh, we got a number of uh, young men that were almost killed over some weed in Austin. Let me let you inform you guys that weed's not illegal in Austin. Uh, you can go to Eeyore's birthday party and there's uh, weed is not illegal. You can go to Bob Marley Fest and weed is not illegal. Um, but if you're black, um, over here at Wendy's, uh, where people are eating, I think it's 24 hour, um, where people are eating in their car, you can't uh, have any weed. Um, oh, by the way, and you can't get a jury trial to convict you in Austin, so just take your, your pot charges, your marijuana charges, uh, to a jury trial in, in Travis County, and you will not get a conviction. There's no jury trial that will convict you. Uh, that's basically the facts, as I'm told from the lawyers um, and, uh, that I hang out with, that I frequently talk to. One, uh, DeVries had the one young man, I got it on video, he said, the young man said, I, have, I know my First Amendment rights. He's like, okay, well, you can exercise those in the back of my car. So he put him in the back of his car um, because of, he was exercising his rights to free speech. Taser was out as well, I'm not sure if it was deployed, but there were his young men on the ground when I got here. Uh, basically, uh, a black Durango went the wrong way on the access road on the one way, and I thought the police officer was pulling him over. He went up this alleyway where I'm standing here, and uh, he went out that way, but the police stopped over here with these young black men and let the guy go, or guy or girl go. Cup almost hit me. Dumb cup. Guys, grabbing his wrist from pain. This guy's getting unarrested. The young one. We still got one guy arrested, possibly for weed. Possibly for the First Amendment. No, they cut the wrong people. They got a description and then they, they put all these guys on the ground, like 67 black guys. The other guys got away. I <laughs> know. Good job. Good job. Almost killed people. Oh, and the guns were out. Thanks for filming. No problem. All right, you guys got that. Guns were out. They almost killed some guys over pot, and it was actually a call on something else from Wendy's. It didn't admit they, the police didn't get their guy. They, the person that made the description wasn't here, and he's all gone. So, they almost killed people, black people, for nothing in Austin. Just another incident of uh, bad training, bad oversight, and zero accountability in Austin. That's why you need to be out here filming, guys. There was a young lady out here filming the night. Just a citizen. So, um, you guys can do it too. All you need is a cell phone. I don't want to hear anything. I don't have a fancy this, and I don't have experience with that. Come out here. You'll get experienced. We'll see you. Be safe. Taking them out.
watch the guys on the call. You get a gun, a gun call, blackmail, dreads, five tenants. We roll up, as soon as we roll up, we got 10 to 12 of them hopping into three cars, getting out of here as soon as they can. Half of them are yelling that they got, not half of them, the two guys saying, I got dope on me, I got dope on me. Two of them trying to actively get out of the car while we're telling them to stay in the car, so turned into a hate. So. When I was growing up, they made us get out of the car when you got like a traffic stop, like a yeah. speeding ticket. I've seen, I've and then that. later on, it changed. And I don't know. I mean, like, I, if I was going to be in your role and I was doing a traffic yeah. stop, I think I would want to see them outside of their environment rather than inside their environment because there's too many cubby holes. There's because I came down from up up north. Uh -huh. They do things the opposite. Yeah, just, weird, huh? But I know lots of the guys have a problem talking to you guys. I try not to have a problem with you guys. Yeah. I'm just me. I'm not you guys, so you know. What I mean. I, I've heard that too. <laughs> In the future, I don't. I don't ask you to stand 30 feet back. You know. Okay. If yeah. I do ever ask you to scoot back a bit, just do that for me. Yeah. And I'm always willing to come over and explain stuff to you. Cool, man. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you still have a black guy detained here for a week and for not having a gun. We're basically not having that. I'm moving. That's good. So they can have guns and we can't have guns. Activist Lizard.
Liz Lee, Activist Lizard. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.